Hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. So we're going to be playing a little bit more of Hearts of Iron 4 Mighty Europa as our Italy campaign. Let's just continue on from where we last left off. Purple line, you're fine. You'd be shocked like this. Yeah, something like that should be good. We're still, of course, in our war with the Americans and the British. We have managed to take over Iceland. But for the most part, we still have a... Uh, a little while to get there, but you know, we're gonna go into speed 5 just right now because there's really no real conflict happening in the world aside from this. This is really the only um, major movements we're actually making right now, and as soon as we get them down to 20%, we should just kind of win the war. We've got half the island under our control right now. I'm gonna go for it. I know it's risky, but I still think it actually might be worthwhile. And I think it is time for us to start preparing our war against the British. You, I guess you all just kind of, you even need to, you know what, you don't even need to be here. Get out of here. That area does not matter to us. Come up, up to, let's just say, Calais for now. What's everybody else doing? You guys can probably easily just kind of clay, clean up this territory, like something like that with you guys going there that should be okay after that i mean really the ai should be more than willing to actually uh deal with that themselves you guys are also slowly pushing away up towards norway they should capitulate soon i would imagine and you're still doing an a okay job tank i think you're also still just doing fantastic Let's try to take over whatever lands you possibly can. Because right now, the only thing that actually matters is taking over actual provinces. Because there's no actual victory points in Iceland, unfortunately. Not even like Reykjavik. So, it's really just taking over enough territories that we can actually consider that to just be a win. Uh, 1943 tank. Probably. You know what? Look at that amphibious tank. I don't think I've ever built them. We'll go for actually 1942 rifles. I think that seems okay. I know the Americans are definitely sending troops over here. And maybe our one tank will be strong enough just to kind of win this for us. And honestly, all of green, you guys included, should probably just go to Iceland. You really don't need to be in Norway anymore. I did let my one troop get surrounded though, which might uh, be considered a bit of an issue. What if you guys flip, go here, you go here. You're about to die, which again is my own fault. We actually have enough troops to actually hold this entire line. We don't, so that's a little bit risky for sure. We got the Americans down to ba -da -ba -da -ba, 49%. Let's get an invasion order ready to go. From let's just say Calais to your port. Go to Brentwood. That seems okay. And where is my navy? You guys should actually delete all your orders and just come down to here for now. We can actually get a surround on these two units. So that's something. You've landed in Iceland. You landed in the only port. Probably should have had somebody there. Yeah, you're actually trying to upgrade that port, but now you can't do that. Which is my bad entirely. Let's build one here. Uh, when How long is it going to take to build? May 2nd? Okay, so like not great at all that the Americans have done this. But if we can maybe... No, they, they do have a second port. They do have two ports. Go, 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 go. If maybe you can get this to work out for us. If that's at all possible. I don't know where this guy is going. But, I mean, I guess nobody has supplies anyway, so it doesn't make a big difference at all, does it? Yeah, you go here. We have another tank that can maybe just quickly seize some provinces. But I kind of think all of Green Army might be killed because of my own incompetence. Which is not good. I, I think I can admit that. Yeah, you go here, here, here. Tank is still making its way across. You've also gotten yourself surrounded, which is not great. Why don't we always go here? You're still fine where you are. You keep getting your way towards that port. 49% still. There's people inside the port. 
Who could have seen that one coming? The answer is probably everybody. If I had to take a guess. I mean, you're on your way to the port. I mean, that's something. You go here. Go there. That guy's at least, like, surrounded. So, I mean, that's something. Where are you guys going? You guys are just making your way over there. And, again, the port's going to be done in about a month. It's going to be a horrible port, but I guess it's still something. Where are you guys? You are... Yeah, no even... Just, just strategically redeploy all the way across Europe. And I, I'm hoping that works out to some extent. Do not try to escape. That's not going to work. Norway has given up. That's something. Okay, you're still making moves. You're going to make meet up with this tank. Because we are going to have the extra port done soon. You go here. You go here. You go there. You go here. You're engaging enemy forces, which we absolutely do not want you to do. Again, all we're trying. Soviets declared war in Finland. Okay. Finland. What faction are you going to join? Finland just directed Soviet uh, commands. Or demands, I should say. Not a huge surprise. You guys go here. You're still making some progress. You were making progress and now you're not. But that's okay. Keep driving, please. Tenth of April. They've abandoned the port. Go, 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 go. Get there. ASAP, I beg of you. Okay, we've, we've taken back the poor province. You just sit here forever. You come over here and try to hold this off, please. The uh, Hello from Greece. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're still stuck, and I don't think there's anything I can do to get you out of here. What if you go here? Something like that. We're still making our second port. I think you're leaving. Maybe we can actually get this to work. How are supplies looking now? Fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean we have any amount of supplies, which is better than we've been in the past. You guys go here. I don't want to lose these two units. And we shouldn't if we can break through one of you. Last stand for now, please. I beg of you. Go. Go. You're still going up. Make your way down and across. We've gotten you guys down to... Da -da -da -da, 46? Not nothing. You guys are now into uh, Bulgaria. So you're, you're on your way. Now you still stay here. I cannot risk you guys going anywhere else. You probably, unfortunately, are going to be killed. And I don't think there's anything I can do to stop that. If you're on this line, you're here. Juan goes here. You guys fight for this guy. Pretty sure you're just dead. Nothing we can actually do about that. Boop, boop. You are still fine with what you're doing. Hmm. By the way, did we send you guys? You guys are on your way. Okay. Yeah, like you're dead. There, there's no question about that. You are very much deceased. Let's see if we can maybe capture this one province. Every province does matter. See if you can make your way down there. Maybe save that tank. You're not doing anything. Forces we have lost a handful of units. But it's not a major surprise. You're on this front. Yeah, as long as we can hold this port, thumbs up. What do you guys, what do you guys actually need? You need better light tanks, which we don't have any of. And we actually make no. Why do we make no steel? 
Because Germany's not trading steel with us. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, I guess we get it from the Soviets for right now. It's maybe a little bit risky, but... We're probably going to end up at war with them sooner rather than later. You wouldn't actually join a faction. Because you actually won't join a faction because you're not fascist enough. So you're not going to join with Germany. I would be surprised if you joined up with the Allies. Not that I think that makes a big, big difference. I think we did lose our other tank unit, unfortunately. I'm guessing we should have our second port done soon. Now let's not get our troops surrounded for obvious reasons. Come on, America, you've got to be close. 36%, as best we've seen in a while. Our armies have now arrived in Calais. Where's our seven ships? You also get over here. You're my scouting fleet. Maybe we can get something done with you. So, you know, see if we can find maybe like a port that's pretty undefended or something like that would be nice. You're now surrounded. Now under attack by multiple different people. Push, push, up and around. You go here, here. You are dead. For sure. Let's see if we can cut you off from this port. That could maybe work. You're going there, so you know what? Let's cut this guy off in half. Thank you, Portugal. Twelve, like two thousand rifles. I will take them. No questions asked. Did you actually die here? No. I think they just took this province. Okay. So it's not as bad as it could be. United States has gone down to 33%. We just need 12% more of the provinces. And that's it. And we should be looking good. My scout fleet has not yet arrived. But they'll be there soon. Let's actually go back down to speed 4 for the moment. Boop, 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 get up there, you go here. You're not going to be surrounded, unfortunately, but you're not going to be in a great spot. You go here, up. Once you're here, you should be able to defend this. You'll be there in 14 hours. This battle says it's going to last less than a day, but if you get here first... 16 hours, we'll be there in 9 hours, we'll be there first, fantastic. Again, this is really just a race for territory. If we can get the territory that we need. That's really all, that's all that's required. Of course, you're going to try to break free of your encirclement, which I recommend you don't do. Out of 31. Okay, we're, we're making progress. Okay, you guys are in the, in the channel. I mean, if you're here, you might as well um, do some scouting on these ports. We got two units there. I mean, okay, that's a big that's a big bridge fleet. Can you sail away fast enough? When can you break off from this battle? Please disengage. Thank you. We did lose a handful of ships, but I guess that's kind of expected when you're going to fight 60 ships with three. Hello? Uh, Gavin. Okay, you're going to take, 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 take. Yes, 
you could do something like this. These guys should not have any supplies. Please, why are you still selected? Come over here, take this. That's great. Again, the light, the tank division should have some decent speed. Capture a handful of provinces. You're surrounded, but that's kind of okay. And you, you know, you're all getting what you need done. Done. 28. You know what I call that? I call that progress. You come down here, please. You, you might end up dying. Why are you here? Go this way, please. Thank you. Capture Iceland. It is of the utmost importance that we can get rid of the Americans uh, while we can. I'm assuming every single front, or every single port that the British have, probably have a lot of troops in it. But the question is, how many men do you think are here? Do you think if I sent over... You actually a lot of Romanian troops. I think if I sent over all the Romanian infantry, that maybe, just maybe we can push our way through. If we go with uh, some of you guys. Get us at the 45%. I should have some naval bombers somewhere, right? Yes, I've got 167 here. You're all flying over Asia Minor still, which is really definitely not where you should be. Get all of my aircraft, fly you up to France. Never mind, we're not allowed to use Axis airports. My day's been going okay. Thank you for asking. So if we can't use our airports, that does make our job a little bit trickier. I guess you could go like this and this. I can maybe accomplish similar things. They're at 21. Okay, the Americans are so, so, so close to capitulating. I can, I can taste victory. We just got them, get them down slightly more than exactly 20. A few more Icelandic provinces should be enough for it. There we go. We just captured 230,000 rifles. So, no. Okay, so that solved all of our equipment issues. That's nice. It also does give us like another staging point that we can use to invade England, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Again, like if our naval bombers, like we have nothing that has enough range to get to the English Channel from here. Maybe Copenhagen? They don't have an airport, but you know, we could probably build a, delete this. We could probably build an airport in Copenhagen. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We cannot, because the airport's probably already in German territory, so never mind. We can't do that. We're at 49%. I mean, we might as well hit this button, so the moment we have 50%, we at least go. Is there, where, where can I see there's an airport? Yeah, you definitely have the naval base. Are there any airports that we have information on? Not as far as I can tell at the moment. How many, how many troops does England have? Britain, you have potentially like a decent sized army, which is a little bit worrying. But you are, I think, the only allied member left in the world. I mean, there's still some territory here in, uh, in Africa, but that's really about it. And technically also down here. Would you still not join my war? You still would not accept because that one British division in, uh, in there, huh? You aren't doing anything. I guess go here. Because, I mean, there is at least a British division in that province. So that's something. You also might as well take these two provinces to just make our borders look a little bit nicer. I was trying to justify a war against Estonia. Did, I guess they rejected your, um, your units. Okay, how many units are here? There are four divisions, and they're extremely well defended. Okay, well. Hold position, then. They, okay, this is oh, like 700 defense and with absolutely no airports. What about if we attack like the Channel Islands? 
Or maybe the Isle of Man. Just what I say. Like, what? What about the Faroe Islands, actually? Yeah, I think maybe... Delete all your old invasion orders because I don't think they're going to work anymore. Delete all your orders. You come kill this one British troop because we need him dead. So that I can use this port. But you guys are going to be here. Get a naval invasion from you to the Faroe Islands ready to go. I'm assuming there's nobody on it. Maybe like uh, maybe a dangerous assumption, but we'll see. Get our fleet. Send them straight up to you. Because I'm assuming their ports in Scotland might be less defended. And also we can probably build an airbase in the Faroe Islands to use air support. Because you... These are actually all connected. We can march from here to Scotland. I don't think we would want to. But you probably could do it. Delete all your old orders. Just be up here for now. 49.8%. But you can basically launch your mission right away. And we might as well be on speed 5 for now. Again, while there's no real active combat zones. There we go. You guys just do something like that and you should be good. You probably also, if we're going to invade the Soviets... We need to probably push our way into Crimea. You've never seen this game before? It's It can be a lot if you are... Uh, if you are very unfamiliar with it. I mean, you're so close. I have 29,000 strength here. Is there an airport in Iceland? There's not. No, maximum level's been reached? How's it? Wait. There is an airbase. Okay. So, you know what? All of our planes, who I have maybe a little bit too many of, you guys go here. You should give us the air superiority we need to actually go to the Faroe Islands. How many mods are you using right now? This is the main one. It's like this and a handful of graphical mods is really the... Uh, the only real change here. Now with that, we can go. Hey, look, there's nobody on the Faroe Islands. We have now successfully invaded. Now it's time for another naval invasion from the Faroe Islands. Do we, do we go to, like, Scapa Flow? Go here. Another naval invasion just prepared. Even if you're in like very, very north of Scotland. Because if we can move troops to the north, hopefully there'll be less men in like um, Scotland that we have to worry about. Let's just take a quick look though. Got a handful of troops there. We got a lot of troops there as well. Okay, so... There are some problems. We can also now build a level 10 airbase here. That builds pretty fast. Okay. Like how... How do we lose so many planes already? Send everything over here. How many, um... Okay, we're sinking some American ships, which is nice. But none of you guys have the range necessary to, um... No. Nobody's got the range necessary to fly all the way to England, or Scotland from here. So we gotta change our plan somewhat. I mean, if Germany was able to make a naval invasion, that would be nice. We might as well have the invasion order ready to go. Just not using it for now, of course. 
And I don't think, you don't get more expensive the more there are. No. So we can wait a few months for our airbase to be ready to go. Ireland. What about Ireland? Do you, do you think we could just invade the Irish? Do they have any naval bases? They have one in Dublin, but that's it. But if we were to attack Ireland, of course, then the, uh, the British would send troops there, which is kind of like not what we're wanting. So, we don't know what Germany's doing. They could theoretically be planning to, um... I think I see. I need more information on Germany. Where's my spy? You're still building an intel network in London, I think. No, you're in. Yeah, you're here, actually. Yeah, boost ideology. I don't know how likely it is we can get Ireland to flip to fascists and join us. Oh, Germany's actually just declared war on the Soviets. Okay, well that... I mean, I, got, I understand why you've done it. Given the context that there's really nobody else in uh, Europe for you to fight. But I think it also means like we should probably be prepared to invade. Or we let Germany do like all the heavy lifting. Which I don't think is really even a bad idea. If I was to justify a war goal against you, it would take 10 days. Like, we could get the invasion going pretty fast. What if we move you here? You guys here. You would basically push your way to Baku and take the oil fields. 